Now let's go ahead and build out a new copilot and then take a look at some of the other copilots that we have available. As you can see, I'm in Copilot Studio, and here I'm going to be able to go ahead and just create a new copilot. We'll call this Copilot 2 Stone Ridge. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in our Stone Ridge website. StoneRidgeSoftware.com. And I'll go ahead and create this. Now, what Copilot's going to do is that's going to take that website and use some of that generative AI to pre-build some of the questions that we may ask or information that it's generating from that website. So as we see as it comes up, it will go ahead and say, hey, here we go. I can see this information. So here is my Copilot. And I can go ahead. I'm going to close out of my testing. So now this will go ahead and update those generative answers. So one of the things that we have to first do is create topics. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my topics. So you'll see that Copilot has created some of those simple topics um, automatically. So we've got greeting topics, the goodbyes, start over, thank you. But we've also got a few lessons in here. Let's take a look. Lesson one is, is just a simple topic. In this, we can see what phrases or what those triggers are. So if I type in, when are you open? What are your store hours? Those are the phrases that it can use to generate some of the messages. And here it says, if I use some of these keywords or phrases, I can go ahead and return with a message. I'm happy to help with store hours. And here are the store hours. Pretty simple. As we look at lesson two, we probably have a lot of times in those chat bots, maybe some decisions that need to be made. I wanna return some additional information. All right, I wanna know, I'm gonna help you find a store near you. So let's go ahead and select a location. And then based on that selection, I have some different conditions. So here I can start to see that chaining of events so being able to add in conditions and then those unique messages based on those conditions. And finally, into my end of conversation. As we go into lesson three, we can add more complexity. So here I still have those phrases and I have the messages, but now once I start to go through, I can say what state, for instance, are you in? If you're in one of these three states, take this branch. If you're in anything else, go ahead and take this branch. And then is it okay if you have another sales tax or if you have additional shipping costs and I have more conditions? So I can start to branch and build that complexity of that bot as we go through. And this is all dealing with information that is right here that I'm adding in those variables. I'm giving those multiple choices so that I can look and determine what those outcomes would be. Let's go ahead and build out a new topic that's using Copilot to help us generate some of that information. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a topic here, and I'm gonna create from a Copilot description. I'm gonna name this Stone Ridge. And what I want it to do is to use the website to give an overview of Stone Ridge. All right, I'm going to create. And so now what Copilot's going to do is using that natural language, it's going to go ahead and build out those phrases for me and the messages. So here I can see I can edit with Copilot. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off so we can start to look. So here, if I enter any of these phrases, I can go ahead and get a message that has that information on Stone Ridge. I'm going to test my Copilot. So here, Stone Ridge. And now it says, here is an overview of Stone Ridge. Stone Ridge is a leading technology con uh, consulting firm. And then it also gives us the website. So we could go into further detail 
where I'm just interacting with this chatbot and it's finding that information from my website and being able to return those values, all being generated by Copilot. Let's go ahead and create another topic, maybe where we want to actually create and um, capture some information other than just giving information out. So let's go ahead and go back to our topics. And we're gonna create a topic again using Copilot. And here I'm gonna capture name and address information. And so what Copilot is gonna do again is take that natural language and create those phrases but also it's going to be able to add in some additional questions for us. So here I see it has added the question, what is your street address? The question of what is your state? And the question of zip code. So I can see those questions here. Now I have Copilot up and I can go ahead and using natural language, ask it to do some additional, uh, ask it to capture some additional information. So I'm gonna say add a node for name, add a node to capture name and a node to capture phone number. Pretty simple, we'll go ahead and update that. And so now it tells me that the topic has been updated. And so it says what they've added is what is your name and what is your phone number? So if I scroll down here, what is your name? What is your phone number? I can always move these around. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm gonna move it all the way up to the top because that should be the first thing that we ask, right? There, so now I have what is your name? What is your street address? And you'll see I'm saving that user response. I could save this as a string. I could save this as different variables. I can also save that into a database as well. There's one more thing that I want to be able to do. So I'm going to just edit with Copilot. And I want to <clears throat> create a summary of the information that we captured. I want to include name, street address, and phone number. And now it will say, here is the send activity. This is a summary of the information. So here I can start to see here is your phone number and here is that summary of information. I can also say, thank you. I'll add this in here. I can edit. So we say, thank you for your time. Here is your information. Now we're gonna go ahead and test out our Copilot. Put in our keyword, our trigger. So what is your name? Erin Kelly. What is our street address? What is our state? Our zip code. And our phone number. And it says, thank you for your time. Here is your information. And then it will give me that summary. And what Copilot has done is taken that time in five minutes that we've been able to go ahead and build out a new chat bot that we can put on our website to capture leads, that we can put somewhere on a support agreement or a support site that we want to be able to capture information on. Um, this could also be internal on Teams. So we can go ahead and deploy this out as we need to. And it also gives us that template where we can edit as we need to, because we all know that it is easier to edit than it is to create, it takes less time. 
All right, let's pop back over and take a look. So we went through and built out a brand new co-pilot. We went through and reviewed some of the lessons that we had, and then we used our co-pilot to be able to edit.